Spring Awakening was so hard to describe. 1891 Germany rock music, there's children in it. The gay scene, abortion, the sex, the suicide. There was never anything like this that's ever happened on stage. The controversial nature meant that we never thought about Broadway. But it touched a nerve. We became rock stars. Getting back together after 15 years is going to be insane. We did it! <laughs> For the years we worked on it, <laughs> we were rejected everywhere and everyone thought we were out of our minds. When we were in previews, we were losing money big time. It was a disaster. It really didn't start well. Michael said to the cast, the future of this is in your hands. And that night, something happened in that theater. If you were able to see Spring Awakening at the Atlantic Theater, you got to see something very special. People were jumping for joy and shouting. It was totally surreal. It felt like we were the Beatles. We, of course, loved our show and loved playing our characters, but the real fun we had was offstage together. Through the cast and through the opportunity of getting to play this character, I had grown this strength. And it changed my life. The things that we confront in this show are not things you can learn in school. And they're things that help people survive. That's kind of what got us through it every night, knowing how important it was to tell that story. This was not about this reunion. This was an opportunity to be with those kids and see who they've become. I would not have survived the experience if it wasn't for all of you. I learned that dreams can come true. 